Catching me. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm at work currently and I am going to take you guys with me today and hopefully we get up to fun things in this vlog. I just want to, it's been a long time I've vlogged you guys. So, so long. Like, so, so long. <laughs> I'm putting on all black today, you guys. Literally all black from head to toe because. The lady in red decided to pay me a visit. Much later. Guys, I'm still at work. I'm so so tired. And uh, yeah, I just finished eating. Guys, I ate two apples. Two apples. I poured um, liquid milk inside and some granuts, and I ate them because you guys, I am back to trying to lose weight. This cycle, God, I'm so tired. Any small thing, somebody just gain weight, but. I am back to trying to lose some weight and I'm now I don't have time for exercise honestly you guys don't even know half of it I am so freaking busy right now so anytime any free time I have I just rest through that time I don't really have time to exercise so I'm just doing intermittent fasting and just trying to watch what I eat and whatnot so I also try to eat twice a day or like once but like one main food and then maybe a healthy snack sometime in the day so yeah that's what i just did i ate two apples and this thing. i just sliced them and it was it was nice it was nice and i ate that around 12 now it's like a few minutes past two and i'm not i'm not hungry should i just take water i already know that when i get home around let's just say five i will make something you know a bit heavy and eat and that'll be all for the day and it's actually working because so far i've lost one kg i just started that it's not even up to a week yet and i've lost one kg already actually wanted to tell you guys how i gained weight i it was sapa 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 it was sapa that made me gain weight because i realized that buying bread was a lot cheaper than buying you know most food things and stuff so i mean bread is like 650 800 naira max and this bread they are really nice and with bread you can you can actually eat something that would fool you you know for a longer time and stuff so by default i started buying lots of bread because i mean it was cost effective right and that was how i gained weight <laughs> supposed to explain that it was because i am broke that i gained weight like it doesn't make sense but that's actually the truth it was bread that made me gain weight because I kept eating it over and over again. I mean, it goes with so many things. You can take it with, with tea. You can, can try egg, Ooh, bro. Let's not go there because currently I am going. I am undergoing a bread fast. I plan to not eat bread again for the rest of the year because if you know me, I don't usually used to eat bread. Like I could go years without eating bread, but so, somehow during this NYC year and the sapa that comes with it i have eaten the most bread i have eaten in my entire life like i have eaten so much bread this year like i i was consuming bread like my life depended on it <laughs> let me show you guys this wrap shirt that my sister gave me the shirt is so beautiful like even though it's almost even maternity but it's so, so cute listen it is i think to almost 9 p.m it's been a while since i came back please excuse what i'm using to cover my hair because guys let's not talk about that now so like i was saying ah this place is lot darker so if you pay close attention to my vlog from now onwards you would realize that i have changed location again <laughs> just this year alone i have lived in many places but let's just ignore that okay um when i am ready to, to when i am ready to talk about it i might talk about it we might just move on with life i mean life happens right 
so yeah um you guys you know i told you about how i took two apples to work and how i'm trying to lose weight and how i'm trying to eat like once a day and then one snack or winter because i pushed myself too far today okay so when i was well, when i was on my way back to work like by the time work closed at 4 p.m but then i had to wait for my other colleague to come so i can hand over to him and then go home i waited for like let's say i, I waited for like 30 something minutes for him and i legit was feeling like i was about to pass out <laughs> so i did a lot of walking because to get to the place where i could get a, a bike or something long story short i get back home like my sugar craving was sky high i was so hungry and i made food i ate but after eating i was still craving like let's just say i i was eating and eating and eating like my eating just went out of spiral i couldn't even like my sugar you know when you just feel like you've gone through a lot i don't know emotional eating all of them just i was like you know what we're going to re recalculate and you know revisit this my eating decision i'm going to put this in a way that i do not stab myself that much because i re i've come to realize that when i do stab myself that much i it's not sustainable basic and i'm trying to do something that i can see myself do for a very long time. tomorrow is cds and we are i'm going to take you guys of course to cds and uh, when i come back from cds what happens nothing because even um that tomorrow um, i'm on call tomorrow i'm also on call tonight here <laughs> so i just pray that they don't call me that the call goes really well and then yeah so i started to talk to you guys update you guys and just because it's been a while i vlog like i told you guys earlier let me not forget that i'm vlogging again like i did the other time see ya good morning guys so i am off to what's it called cds yeah it's thursday and i'm off to cds you guys do you know one thing that scares me about this nyc outfit this picture right here <laughs> honestly honestly like every cds i'm literally like praying to god god please god please let this let this khaki down tear like <laughs> i i try to not wear any i try to know i i try to wear big underwears anytime i'm putting on this outfit because <laughs> i do not want stories that touch guys <laughs> all right guys i'm running i'm actually running it a bit but honestly this is our cds set yeah it's, it's it's meant to start by nine but people keep coming till like 10 and then we never stay there till 12 so it's super short people still come late and you still sign so <laughs> well yeah i decided to wear my jacket because it's been raining for some days now even though it's a bit sunny right now but i beg i don't trust this weather again so and also let me show you guys also <laughs> so let me show you guys so this thing right here this place I've turned severally. Hence why I'm scared of that picture I showed you guys earlier. Hence why this is actually a fear that I have. I have sutured this. Oh, that was so doctor of me, sutured. <laughs> so I have sewn this trouser for several times. Even this particular spot now, I've taken it to a seamstress and she sewed it. And now it opened again. It opened again, I have to use Need and thread to you know put it together and now they are also coming apart oh god you hey guys the material that's the thing the material is is it's not that great but let me just pray that you know it just hangs in there till pop just hanging there till pop <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Good morning, guys. I work right now. Today is Friday. I am dressed up. I'll soon show you my outfits. I kind of feel pretty in this or whatnot. Um, you guys are taking out my cartilage piercing. I took it out yesterday. I've been having piercing bump. I'm not going to show you what it looks like on camera. You can Google it and see what it looks like. But uh, the cartilage piercing was a field piercing. Kept getting infected and i've used antibiotics over and over again but you know now the blood supply to the cartilage is really very low so the it, it has been very difficult to heal let me just put it that way the lobes however have healed perfectly but the cartilage i i just took it out even actually i took out the earring without the intention of you know giving up on the piercing but when I took out the earring, right, to put it back in was now wahala. You know those ball, ball earrings that you have to screw back the ball, yeah? I couldn't fix it back. I was alone. I had I didn't have anybody with me. I didn't know who, who to, you know, ask for help. The, pain, the ear was even paining me. And after a while, I just gave up. And this morning, I wanted to try putting back the earring. And it was very difficult to put back. So I think... It has closed after battling with this cartilage and with this pain and with this ear for two months plus now. Yeah. But yeah, that's good. We'll try again next time. Maybe use a better technique this time. I don't even know what went wrong, but I think I don't know what went wrong because I did everything according to book. I did my aftercare according to book. So I don't know what exactly what's wrong after the pain that i felt you guys you saw i felt so much pain especially with the cartilage one that was the reason why i kept holding on because i was like you know what i cannot feel this kind of thing and then give up but it's, it's okay it's okay all right we'll live to fight another day so yeah let me show you guys my outfit okay happy friday guys <laughs> because i cannot even come at the can right now so i hope you, can, you guys can see me sure good morning guys it is saturday and i'm outside i had to go quickly review a patient in the world and after that, you guys, I just decided that let me not give up on this person right here. What is it? What is it? So, you guys, I just am feeding my MD's chicken because, yeah, they've been hungry since morning and she's not around. So, I just thought to help her feed them. Let me show you. So look at them probably not the best option putting the food together for all of them to eat because they are of all age age different age and and sex so some are bullying some are actually bullying the other but i beg at the, at the end of the day they already have food they've been hungry like anytime i come outside they just rush thinking i'm coming out with their food so i decided to actually you know sort them out so you guys, like I was saying about my piercing, I let me show you guys the bump. But if things disgust you, fast forward, okay? It's only this big one that is that is brave enough to come close. These ones are too scared to go there. So like I was saying about my piercing, let me show you guys the bump. I'm breaking out again, you guys. Honestly. It's time, it's time to take this acne to NSPPD prayer altar because honestly, I'm tired. So, let me show you guys the bomb, alright? If things disgust you, like I was saying, please fast forward. You don't need to see it, but if you have mind, then let me show you. What this thing is, is basically an interruption in one of the 
stages of healing do you, do you understand so there's been an interruption there it might be because i'm probably reacting to the type of earring or there's been an infection something sha 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 so as you're seeing that that thing there is just like an hypertrophic scar it's not a pus filled sac it is not it's just an hypertrophic scar so if if you cut that thing open blood would come out it's not pus that would come out recurring so guys if you know what can help with a piercing bump please let me know honestly because i am tired and i am this close to giving up on this piercing i have endured nine to ten weeks of pain and and aftercare uh, upon aftercare and this thing is still you know misbehaving